Hello bookworms! Today I'm going to be sharing my special edition book wish list. So I've been making like a series of videos all about special editions and I posted my collection first and then I've also filmed a video of books that I think deserve special editions. On my first video everybody was very receptive and said that they also really love special editions and that they wanted to see my special edition wish list. so I'm making this video. <laughs> All of these books are books that are like my white whales. I have been searching for them for so long. A lot of them I look up online like once a week just to see if they've become available or to see if they are a reasonable price that I can afford because sometimes they're available, but they're also like $500, which I'm not going to spend on a book. That's like absurd. So in this video, I will be talking about 10 books, kind of. Some of them, some of my items include more than one book, but um, I essentially made a list of like 10 books that I really, really want. And then two books, two special edition books that I currently have pre-ordered that are going to be more widely available. So if anybody else wants to get them too, they should totally do so. Let's get started. Okay, so first up on my wish list is the hardcover versions of Kings of the Wild and Bloody Rose by Nicholas Eames. I would do anything <laughs> to have hardcover copies of these books on my shelves. I have the paperbacks, obviously, but I love, love, love hardcovers. I am definitely a hardcover person when it comes to my book collection. I'm fairly certain that copy, hardcover copies of Kings of the Wild were actually limited to like 350 copies, which is why they're impossible to find and it's really sad and frustrating. And then Bloody Rose, there were more copies that were printed and it has sprayed pages, which is really pretty. But again, like went out of print super, super early. And I'm really hoping that at some point, some publisher will do another run of these in hardcover or make special editions or what have you, because Kings of the Wild is one of my favorite books ever. And I really need a good hardcover copy. Our paperback is pretty well worn at this point because I've read it twice and Andrew's read it once. And I definitely foresee like both of us reading it again in the future. It's just so good. Number two on my list is actually a box set and it's for the HarperCollins cloth bound editions of Lord of the Rings. I've been searching for these for years. I have the copy of The Hobbit that matches the rest of the set, but I don't have the Lord of the Rings ones, and they are so, so beautiful, but they run for such a high price. Like, if you're trying to get the box set, I've looked on like Abe Books, I've looked on eBay, it's ridiculously priced, and it's one that I've been, uh, it's another one that I've been looking at for like literal years. The one good thing is that there is no shortage of really pretty editions of Lord of the Rings, so I definitely have quite a few of those on my shelf already, but this is just one that I've been actively looking for for so long. Next is the Geekify leather bound editions of Name of the Wind and Wise Man's Fear. So these ones are actually, again, more widely available because it's a company that creates the leather bound. It's actually the 10th anniversary edition of Name of the Wind. So um, this one that I have here, it's that, but they bind it in leather. And oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's this like forest, like hunter green leather. And you've got Quoth's loot on the front and the pipes are like in the top corners. It, it's just stunningly beautiful. Like probably one of the most beautiful books that I've ever seen. And then Wise Man's Fear is like a really pretty like wine colored leather. And again, it's just really gorgeous. And I really do want to get these and add them to my collection. The reason that I haven't gotten these yet is because they are very expensive. They're like $225 per book, which it's a leather bound book. So I understand, but I just haven't ever taken the plunge. I've put it on like every wish list that I've given Andrew for like my birthday and Christmas too, for like a couple of years. <laughs> so I feel like one time, like one day I'll get them. It's gonna happen. Next on my list are the leather bound editions of the Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson. I got this beautiful leather bound set of Way of Kings and I'm just like completely astounded and impressed with the quality and everything. Like, and it just really made me want to get the other ones too. So the Mistborn ones are really beautiful. They just look like old, 
like gorgeous, gorgeous books. And Mistborn is one of my favorite series. So I definitely want to get those. And I, so this is another one. I haven't actually read Warbreaker just yet, but I do also really want to get the Leatherbound edition of Warbreaker. I think that that one is actually the prettiest of any of the Leatherbounds that Brandon Sanderson has released yet. I have no doubt that I'm going to love it. Like, that's not even a concern of mine. I have loved all of his books that I've read. So like, there's no doubt that it's going to be amazing. But obviously, I'm not going to buy it until I read it and until it comes back in stock because it's actually been out of stock on his site for quite a while. Oh, next is the Fairy Loot edition of Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. I love, love, love these sprayed pages. They're so pretty. It's like a black sprayed page and it has these white, like, ghostly florals. It's stunning. I just think that it's absolutely beautiful. I current, like I look for this on eBay all the time, but they're so expensive. They're usually like upwards of $300, which again feels like just too much to spend on a book that would have been a lot cheaper if I had a subscription to Fairy Loot which I, I want. I've been on the waiting list for a while. But yeah, I, I feel like one day there's the potential maybe that I could find a copy that, you know, is floating around out there, but it's not happening now, <laughs> sadly. Next are more Fairy Loot editions. So I really, really, really wish that I owned the Fairy Loot editions of Chain of Gold and Chain of Iron. That series, the Last Hour series, is my favorite Cassandra Clara series so far. Obviously, I'm waiting on the third book to see if that is, like, 100% cemented, but I'm, like, fairly certain that that's my favorite of her series, and I own a lot of editions of them so far. The Fairy Loot ones are really sleek. They're just black. I love the stenciling on the pages. Like, they're really gorgeous books, and I really wish that I had those. They obviously sold out, like, immediately, so I had no chance of getting those when they went on sale for, like, the general public, but... Yeah, if I could find them, oh, I would definitely get those. <laughs> Next is a newer set of books. So the book box, Once Upon a Book Club, just released hardcover versions of the Bridgerton series by Julia Quinn, and they're so pretty. They look like designed in the style of like Jane Austen books. Like they have that really classic feel to them and they're just gorgeous. I really wish that they were still available. I didn't realize like, I, I think the box was like kind of expensive, which makes sense because I didn't realize that you would be getting four books in it. I would have definitely ordered it, but I didn't know when it was on sale or anything. And I was just looking at their website the other day and they have like two of the books that are still in stock, but the two that I like most are not in stock. So I've been debating, like, do I get those other two and then hope that I can get the first one and the fourth one in the future or what? Like, I just don't know. But they're really, really pretty. And yeah, I wish that I, I wish that I had ordered that box. Okay, then I have two series that I haven't actually read, and that's why I didn't purchase them, but I do think that the books are gorgeous. First is Illumicrate's exclusive editions of the Poppy War series by R.F. Kuang. They're really pretty. The main covers are pretty similar, if not exact, to what the original books look like, though they do feel a little bit more sleek. I have a feeling that they're probably like the UK cover. And then what really sold me on these is that the pages have like the smoke on them. It like they just look so pretty and they have like a different color scheme on each one and they just look really beautiful together. And when they first announced them, I was like, oh my God, these are gorgeous. Should I try to read the Poppy War before the pre-sale for this happens so I know if I need to buy it or not? But I didn't end up getting to it. I Again, that was like last year when I was in a reading slump. I still haven't read the Poppy War. So this is one that I don't actively look for, but it's definitely one that I like super admire and I think was really beautifully done. And then the last one is the Fairy Loot edition of the Red Rising series by Pierce Brown. It's the first three books that they made over. They're so gorgeous. I really love how if you line up the spines together, they all match with each other. And I think it like makes a hook if I'm remembering correctly. And they're really pretty colors. There's like, there's a mauve kind of color and there's a blue. And then I think that the third one is white but lined up, they just look absolutely gorgeous together. My friend Jess from Stars Above Jess, she 
posts photos of them on Instagram and she showed them off on her YouTube channel and oh, I'm always like, wow, <laughs> those are amazing. But again, I haven't read Red Rising yet and that's why I didn't purchase them once they were released. So I'm just hoping that in the future I won't be kicking myself. Like if I read it and love it, then I'm going to be like, great. And then two special editions that I pre-ordered that I'm really excited to get. They're both Orbit books and I pre-ordered both of them because of Holly from Holly Hurts Books. She posted both of them in her Instagram story. So first is the Leviathan Wakes 10th Anniversary Edition. This is by James S.A. Corey and I love the pink. I think this is amazing. I really, really hope that they will do the rest of the books in this way, like with this hardcover. I think that they're, this series has so many fans and oh my gosh, if they just did all of these with like these bright neons, like if each one matched the like neon color of the title that's on the spines of the paperbacks, that would be quite a collection. I would definitely buy those in heartbeat. So Holly posted this one one day and I was like, oh my God. And I immediately went and pre-ordered it. And then the next day I was looking at Instagram and she posted another one in her story. And this is the illustrated edition of The Last Wish by Andrew Sapkowski, which is the first book in the Witcher series. And then I immediately went and pre-ordered that one. And I was like, Holly, you're killing me. I'm not allowed to look at your Instagram stories tomorrow in case there's another book that you're going to be posting that I need. <laughs> so I actually own a couple copies of The Last Wish, but I'm really excited to see the illustrated edition. I think that this looks like it's going to be really gorgeous and just like a really, really nice book to add to my collection. And both of those are currently up for pre-order, so I'll leave links to them down below if you're interested in getting yourself a copy. They're both coming out in the next couple of months. I think one I think Leviathan Weeks comes out in September and Witcher either comes out in October or November, but I'm ready. Oh my gosh. Let me add one more thing to my list. So this is just like an impulsive edition that I'm saying now. So there is this UK based book company called, I think it's like the Broken Binding or something. And they recently announced that they were doing hardcover versions of the Malice series by John Gwynn. And all of them have beautifully sprayed pages and they're Oh my gosh, I was dying when I saw them. I was like, these are absolutely amazing. And I was 100% going to buy them, except sadly, they had a very limited amount. And then because I'm in the United States, I was unable to buy them because of the publisher who has the rights in the UK. They're only allowed to sell them like in the UK and in a couple of other countries. They were not allowed to sell them to anybody in the United States. So I was like trying to think if I knew anyone in another country that could order them and I could pay them and then they could send them to me. But yeah, uh, that's, I, yeah. I really wish because they're really, really nice. So hopefully Orbit in the United States will do something like that or work with a book box company that will be allowed to sell to the United States because they're amazing. And that's it. <laughs> Those are all of the books that are currently on my special edition book wish list. Let me know some of the special editions that you love most. Like, let me know your favorite special edition that you either own or the one that you search for online the most. I always find that interesting. I'm always like just looking up special editions online. The book collector in me is like an addict when it comes to that stuff. Okay, so that is all that I have for this video and I will see you guys soon in a new one. Bye!